Cheating death, abrupt endings, fan backlash, American Idol season 19 had it all. But where are our American Idol top 10 finalists now? That's what's hot. Hey Talent Recap family, Justin D. Jenkins here. And for today's What's Hot Topic, I am putting my investigation hat on to find out what's going on with our top 10 American Idol season 19 finalists. Let's jump right in. The winner of season 19, Chase Beckham, was a 24-year-old singer from Apple Valley, California. When we met Chase, he was coming out of some dark times. He was on a dark path for a little while, just mm -hmm. with drinking and, and um, his self-worth and whether or not he was good enough. He opened up about his addiction story and how music saved his life. With his guitar in hand, Chase blew the judges away. Katy Perry even predicted he would make it to the top five, and he ended up winning the whole thing. After his win, Chase said that he wanted to get his feet on the ground in Nashville. And guess what? That's what he did. His dreams continue to come true. These days, he recently became the Nashville resident, and this dude is working. He moved with the help of his family to reunite with old buddies and the other Idol alums, Hunter Metz, Wyatt Pike, and Graham DeFranco. His single, 23, has been streamed over five million times on Spotify. He's been on tour with Luke Holmes and recently released his duet, Can't Do Without Me, with singer Lindsay L. We're not in Apple Valley, California anymore. Next, we have season 19 runner-up, Willie Spence. If you thought Willie Spence looked familiar before his audition, you probably saw the viral video of him singing his audition song at his high school. The Douglas Georgia native was just coming off a 200 pound weight loss for health reasons when he first auditioned. Using family as motivation, Spence's rendition of Rihanna's Diamonds earned him a golden ticket to Hollywood. So After placing second, Willie went on to play festivals and most recently performed at Philadelphia's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Willie also released his latest song and video, So Gone, which he said was inspired by the relationship from his parents and grandparents. And if you think he is bitter over his American Idol loss, don't worry. He recently reunited with the man who beat him, Chase Beckham, and finalist Hunter Metz. Grace Kinsler came in third place during the 2021 season of American Idol. Fans will remember the 20-year-old Chicagonian for making Luke Bryan cry during her audition. This is the first time in four years that just someone singing made me cry. The young singer already had several EPs before taking the Idol stage by storm. Her story of triumph after losing her father touched the hearts of the audience. It was very unexpected. Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> After placing third, Grace has gone on to sing the national anthem for baseball games all over America. She moved to Los Angeles to record new music, and recently Grace shared with her social media followers that criticism that she faced from Katy Perry during the competition helped her discover what kind of artist she wanted to be. She then shared a demo of a song that she's been working on, which sounds epic. Fourth place live wire, Casey Bishop gave classical music a rock star twist when she dominated throughout season 19. But then 15 year old shocked judges with her mature vocals. She's Luke even predicted that she would win the competition. Period. On stage, Casey became known for wearing her lucky necklaces, but her making it to the final four was not luck. It was pure talent. Weeks ago, Casey reemerged to the thrill of her fans to announce that she signed a record deal and is working on original music. I'm gonna let you know a little secret. Casey reportedly signed with 19 Recordings and publishing partner BMG. Two of Idol's biggest stars also signed with 19 Recordings, Kelly Clarkson and Carrie Underwood. If history repeats itself for a third time, we will be listening to the young rock star for years to come. One word from you and I will jump off of this ledge on now, as Open Rose is catching up with our top 10 finalists, so I'm sorry to do this, but we have to talk about top five contestant, Caleb Kennedy. Caleb came in hot and was considered a front runner during the season. It all came crashing down when video resurfaced of the singer wearing a KKK costume. His mother said his son was actually mimicking the movie Strangers Pray at Night. And if you saw the movie, that's still pretty scary. Dad. These days, Caleb says he's been working on new music, and with his fan base, I'm sure he will have no issues with his career. Now I won't be drunk at the crack of dawn. Now I won't be missing some long gone. Next up, we have Hunter Metz. 
Fans will remember Hunter as a 22-year-old who selflessly passed on the opportunity to try out for Idol twice because it would have been a conflict of interest for his sister. I think part of the reason people loved Hunter so much was because of this emotional moment when he forgot the lyrics during his live performance. Hunter was so popular, he was invited to the Ellen DeGeneres show to perform. He didn't even place top five. So my love to wreck it all. This past summer, Hunter said he rented out a cabin and went right to work on his debut album. He released the song 20,000 Kisses, which the song went number one on iTunes, the singer-songwriter charts. Hunter also had two sold-out concerts at the historic Franklin Theater in Franklin, Tennessee, and fans are eagerly waiting for his debut album. What if I told you that I was in love? Arthur Gunn was first seen on American Idol season 18 when he came in second place to Just Sam. During comeback auditions, Gunn was placed in season 19's top 10. I just want Many fans believe Arthur was robbed during the season and supported a comeback, but others found it unfair that season 19 contestant had to compete with the previous runner-up. Now Gunn has released multiple albums. He's managing his career his way, doing live shows. His Save Me Now music video is approaching 1 million views on YouTube. Deshaun Goncalves had already performed at the Apollo before moving the judges with his rendition of Nina Simone's Everything is going to change. Katy Perry called Deshaun's performance magic and angelic. His magic continued throughout the competition. He even got a chance to perform with the legendary Shaka Khan. In a recent interview, Deshaun said he learned to be himself on Idol. He also said that he's working on his first album set to drop by the end of this year. There's going to be some surprises, especially with some featured artists. And there's going to be some R&B, some soul, a little pop, maybe a little country. And then he also is about to make his Broadway debut during the spring 2022 season. To give to me, give it all. Alyssa Rae, fans were shocked when Alyssa Rae did not make it to the top seven. I know Idol fans are always shocked, even though they're the ones sending them home. But Still, Alyssa dominated the competition week after week. Nowadays, Alyssa's been traveling, singing show tunes from the Broadway play Wicked. She also moved to New York City and starred in Songs from a New World at the Gateway Performing Arts Center in Bellport, New York. Alyssa has big dreams of seeing her name under the Broadway lights. Cassandra Coleman was an insecure coffee shop manager before she walked into the audition. She walked out of the audition with Luke Bryan saying she was a new voice that the world has never heard. After making it into the top 10, Cassandra has gone on to play countless live shows. She's even played a Tennessee show with fellow Idol alums Wyatt Pike and Graham DeFranco and Franklin Boone. She recently also played a Christmas show with Hunter Metz and is said to be working on her first album. Did you forget all about those golden nights? There you have it, folks. Those were your American Idol season 19 top 10 finalists. Who's ready for the next season of American Idol? We are here at Talent Recap. Make sure you subscribe to Talent Recap's YouTube channel and follow us on all social media platforms. If you want to follow me, you can follow me at Justin J. Wrights on all the social media platforms as well. I'm Justin D. Jenkins, and now you know what's hot. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit the subscribe button down below and then we can talk.